Hello everybody, and today we are going to do a video about optimization in Ninja.io. What you should know for when you start playing this game. Now, I am going to start playing this game. I'm going to use RPG and Barret. This is a fairly pop popular style which combines the the somewhat accuracy of the Barret to the M79 Barret the, of the RPG. Now, what is the best gun in the game? Well, that can be argued between Barret, Rifle, and AK-47. All the people who use them will say their weapon is the best. All of their weapons are not the best. If you are skilled in accuracy and believe that you have a good mouse and have good hand-eye coordination, then Sniper is the one for you. If you are good at spamming weapons and also accuracy, because Accuracy is not guaranteed on any of these weapons. Well then, you need AK-47 or a rifle. Now, who, which one should you choose over that? In my personal opinion, rifle. This is why. So, AK-47 or having a or having a faster fire rate and more and well more output rifle however has better accuracy and also there's a lot more damage think of it as a kind of semi-automatic kind of rifle kind of rifle as in doesn't do as much damage but it's pretty good so it's just a slower more damage output version of the ak-47 so it depends on what you like more do you like damage output and do you like damage output, but less, but slower and less shots? Or do you like faster shots, but with less damage output? AK-47 also noticeably has more DPS due to higher rounds and fire shots. But DPS in the game isn't everything. It's just how much damage can you do so that you can survive. Now, now that we've gotten the weapons that you should probably play as out of the way. Not saying you shouldn't play as anything else, but... Now, now we're going to talk about three main strategies, and those are camping, running, and retreating. Camping usually consists of staying in one place, usually behind what I call sandbags, which are those. Like this. See, this would be considered optimal camping. Camping can be murdered with explosive type weapons such as grenades, cluster grenades, RPG, M79, and I think one more that I am forgetting. Now, that does not mean it's a guarantee. Not all M79 shots hit our camping actually hit, and not all cluster grenades can actually hit them. You see, explosives are really good because of their wide damage output. They spread damage, high damage over an area. Now, if somebody was completely inside the... A barricade or sandbag whatever you want to call it I do not know if they would still be damaged because of explosives but I would like to think that no it would not do it because explosive just spread out the damage are wrong so if you have a single part of your head sticking out a lot of damage is going to go to your head and thus instant killing you well that doesn't always happen and we'll explain why in that later on our section about hitboxes now and now the aggressive strategy or the running into action. Now, it's not always smart to just run into action because first you need four reloaded, at least three, at least grenades, snowballs, shurikens, or cluster grenades for an optimal set setup. Now, I like to use ferret and RPG. Another good strategy is double AK or double. A double rifle, though those can easily be paired up with high damage output weapons like RPG and Deagles. Have I mentioned Deagles? Well, that's another good strategy. Think of Deagles as a pretty good weapon. If you're in a tight pinch, well then, Deagles is your man. If you're, well, not in a tight pinch, then RPG is your man. Deagles is a lot more aggressive than RPG. It's got faster fire rate, and arguably has more TBBS. Remember, this isn't a science, guys. The numbers aren't just better than a spreadsheet. Well, they are, but 
Only Boozer, the creator of Ninja IO, has that. But I think he'd be willing to share it. Anyways. Anyways, that is the strategies. Oh yes, and there's also the the running away strategy. Now, this is arguably the most situational strategy. As in you don't always need you don't always need to run back, but you don't always need to camp. Most people don't know when to run to run, hide, or camp. All of those are good strategies, and all of them have their pluses and minuses. For just camping, for example, you will get targeted because people don't like camping, yet everybody does it. It's like lying. People say they don't lie, but every one of you is a liar, and I think we all know that. Now, the bad thing about running away is you people can run after you, and you know you don't necessarily get targeted as much. It is a safe option if you're low on health, and you can't get to that enemy's medkit uh, fast enough to heal before they all kill you. And then, running straight off. Again, campers can easily pick you off when you do that. But, but running towards them allows you, if you add explosives, to easily have an edge, especially with rushes, which is when multiple people go to at the same time. So if there's one camper, that still leaves to, uh, one or more people there to, well, kill them or get the flag. But, you know, this is not for deathmatch because I never play deathmatch. So we're right, right now we're just doing team deathmatch and CTF. I haven't already explained this. Now, Zoom. Zoom can be... Zoom is, well, is pretty frowned upon, though all the top players do it, including me. So, what is the best Zoom? That would be 67% in my opinion. The larger you zoom out, the more laggy you will be, but it gives you a better view of the map, allowing, allowing well, campers to easily pick off more and more people. Now... Zoom can be enabled by hitting control and the minus button, which is right next to the equal and plus sign. Well, at least it is on my Chromebook. I don't know where it is, but it's the minus symbol. If you do that, you're able to control your zoom. Just um, hit the minus buttons a few times, and eventually you will lead to 67%. Now, 75% is arguably better. Less lag, less view, but it's what most people do. So, if you're just casually doing it, and, you know, just chilling, 75% is the way for you. But, if you want to be a bit of a tryhard, like I am, I'm not gonna lie, um, well, 67% is just the best for you. Now, since we have already explained weapons, strategies, and, well, I don't really know what else to do. Right, techniques. On Chromebook, to uh, do force field, you have to press both sides of the mouse at the same time. Like this. Um, force field, or like called Aurea, wh whatever you want to call it, goes out fairly quickly. So you should use it to try to get onto high ledges or to get away. You have to do that pretty quick, as it's not always reliable. Now, health. You can use medkits. If you're on low health, it's advisable to get the heck out of there and to go get a medkit. If you can't do that, then fight to the end and hopefully you'll get a bit more kills and a higher ratio. Follow all these strategies and I'm sure that you can do fairly good. But the most important the most important thing you will learn in your IO is to get good. If you're really bad at the game, you're not good at 2D games, you're not good at hand-eye coordination in shooting this and on really fast-paced battles, well then, I'm not sure this is the game for you. Of course, it wasn't the game for me when I first shot it. I was more used to uh, slower-paced 3D action games, like Shell Shockers. So when I first entered well, when I first entered this game, it was a bit of a shock to me. But I've learned to play this game a lot better now, since when I first started. I'm nowhere near as good as I was, but when I was good, I was pretty good. So, if you're unfamiliar with this, that doesn't mean you shouldn't play this game. It just means that it's not really advisable to play this game 
Unless you want to work hard at it in train. Now. I don't really know what else to do. Well, hopefully this list really helped you with what you should do in situations like these. Whether you should run, hide, or camp. Whether Which weapon is really the best. And which weapon combinations are really the best. And also, just what to do. How to play this game. What you need to know. Now, I'll be signing off. Enjoy. Uh, am I printing something? No, I'm not.